Hello students and welcome to the Dorsu Virtual Learning Environment. The Dorsu VLA enables collaboration between the faculty and students. Through this, you can be able to enroll to courses, view course resources, submit assignments, answer quizzes, upload and download files, and communicate with your instructors. For you to be able to do all those activities, you need to have an account first. So you go first to the URL dorsu.edu.ph forward slash VLE and you will be directed to this page and now you create a new account. In creating a new account, just click this button new account and you will be directed to the sign up page. So you put your username and your password. So you put your username and password here. So it could be your last name and your first name. And then you put your password here. So the password must be at least eight characters, at least one digit, at least one lowercase, at least one uppercase, and at least one non-alphanumeric character such as this one. And you're good to go. So now let's go to the email address. Be sure that the email address is an existing email address because the notification will be sent there. And you have to input again your email address and you put your first name here. So be sure that you are going to put your first name and surname, which are your real name and real name and the real last name as well. and for the city or town where you belongs and for the country and then you create my new account you will be given with this message an email should have been sent to your address at dorsustudent one gmail.com so this is the email address that i put there and i will check now my email uh, you can click here continue and you go to your email address. So now, in my email, I have a notification from the Dorsu VLE. So I'm going to open this one. In case you are not able to see this one in the inbox, just go to the spam messages. It might be sent here. And if you see it here, just uh, make a uh, remove from spam action so that the next time that there will be notifications from the doors of VLE, it will be directed to your inbox. So here I'm going to click here and then after that uh, it has a message there and you just click this uh, web address to confirm the account. And then I'm going to confirm it and now I'm here in the welcome message so your registration has been confirmed and i will just click continue and i'm going to be in the site home okay so now i'm here in the site home in which i can see now the different things that i can do here in the dorsu vle so as you can see here, I have here my dashboard and then I have here my profile, grades, and then I have here the messages and other preferences for the settings. So with this Dorsu student um, profile, I can uh, have my own profile picture. So you can upload your profile picture here. You can just click this one and uh, you can change the profile through edit profile. So you can do things here and you can upload a picture through this one so that when your instructor will see your uh, picture, she or he will know uh, what you look like or if it's really you who, who is um, adding the course. And then after that, you can also uh, have some um, notifications 
So if there are assignments, there are submissions for your course, you can see it here in the notification. And then you can also search here. There's a search button. And you can also do chat here with those who are online, specifically your instructor. You can also do a chat. So you can see here the calendar. In the calendar, you will see um, the overall information of what have been added for the university. So here are the dates to remember with those things. And then um, in the site home as well, you can see the uh, announcements, the site announcements. Those, the site announcements are for overall. And you can see here the available courses. So as I said, um, we can enroll to a course. So there are courses here, available courses. You can see all of the courses. But specifically, if you know the course for you wanted to enroll, there are two things that or two ways that you can be enrolled to a course or a class. So it can be that your instructor will be the one who will be adding you or it will be you who will be enrolling in the course. So just choose what is the specific institute you belong or what extension campus you belong. So for example, uh, I am in the Institute of Computing and Engineering and then I'm going to choose what is the course I belong. So Bachelor of Science in Information Technology. And then I'm going to click on what is the semester. So that is first semester for this year. And then, as you can see here, there is an access code for this. You will note that there is an access code if there is a key here. So I'll click access. So you will have your access code from your uh, faculty or your instructor. So you need to have an enrollment key. So I will have to key in the enrollment key so that I can enroll myself. Let's try if it works. So it works. So therefore, now I'm a part of this class, Introduction to Computing. So what I'm going to do now is for me to um, access all the information or all the resources that my faculty or the instructor that has given to me. So for this um, introduction to computing, I can see that there is a course summary given by my instructor and I can see the topics and I can see the announcements and I have here the course syllabus. So the course syllabus is a downloadable file. It is a PDF so I can download it. So I'm going to download it and when I go back here in the Doors of Virtual Learning Environment, I just go to back, click back here and then I'll see a check here. It means that I already do something on this. So I already opened the file. Okay, and then I will click the prelim coverage module. So I, I, I have a module here. The instructor uploaded a module. So I have here ITC 100 course summary and I'll see the modules for the prelim coverage module. So I can, I can see that there are topics here. So this one is the topic one. If I'm going to open this one, I can see a page that there are um, lessons for here. There is a lecture notes that I can download and there is um, PowerPoint presentation here that I can look on and I can read also um, the other things about the subject and I have here a video presentation which is embedded which is uploaded by my instructor in the YouTube. So I have also here the references. So when I click back here, I will see that it is checked. So that means that I have already opened it. So this one is Google Meet. So it means that we have a Google Meeting. This uh, this have been already done in August 22. And then I have here activities. So activity one is chat. And then I have here the 
activity 2. So, as you can see here, there is a restricted, um, a restricted, um, notification here. So, what does it mean? I cannot open activity 2 quiz, this one, on, not this one. I cannot open this one, this online meeting, unless I will do the activity 2. That is the meaning of restricted. Meaning, I should do activity 2 quiz first before I can have this online meeting because this is restricted. So, if I'm going to take a quiz, so I can do quiz just click attempt quiz now. So, I have a password in which um, you are going to input. And then, after that, you can answer the quizzes. Aside from quizzes, you can also do assignments. So, here we can see assignments given by your instructor. Okay, this one is... Activity 5, Activity 4, Assignments. But this one cannot be open unless you are able to open. So, let's try to open Activity 4. So, this one. And you are going to add submission. So, for the submission, just put add submission. And you're going to be able to do things here. So, for example... Um, in assignment 4, you are said, look for three any computer-based device you can find in your neighborhood community, take a selfie. So, it means that you are going to put um, an answer here. So, you can post your answers in text entry and attach your picture. So, you can just put your text here. So, here is my picture. Okay, and then you can upload the picture or you just can put here, insert or edit, edit image. And then you can save the changes and submit it to your instructor. Okay. This is still draft because you have not clicked submit assignment. And now you're prompted to confirm your assignment and then click continue okay it is submitted for the grading so with that you can be able to see participants also it means that you can be able to see your classmates here okay so in this one i am able to see my instructor and this one it's me dorsu student because we are just two here. And then, I can also see the badges that I have. If I have badges. So, for now, there are no badges available. Badges are for those who are best in attendance. Or um, your instructor would like to give to those uh, students who are making prompt submissions. And then, uh, I can go to my courses. The courses will be sent here. Okay, so um, I think that's it for the whole um, navigation, the basic navigation for the site. You will see here 28% progress. It means that in the prelim coverage module, you have done your progress, which is 28%. So... For the grades, if we are going to click here, the grade, um, there's nothing to be displayed at this time because there are no grades yet. So in the dashboard, you can really see the courses that you have. So at this time, you have all only one course for this. But if you have many courses, there will be many courses to be uploaded here. So, I think that's it. Uh, you are now ready to navigate the Dorsu VLE. You are now ready to uh, uh, answer quizzes and also submit your assignments. So, if you have problems with the Dorsu VLE, you can contact your instructor and you can also contact the team of the Dorsu VLE team or the administrator. 
So that's it for this navigation for the Dorsu VLE. I hope that you learned something. And don't forget to also subscribe to my channel. And if you have questions again, you can directly go to your instructor or the administrator of the Dorsu VLE. And don't forget, if you are also using it outside, don't forget to, or not in your homes, don't forget to log out so that there will be no other people who will be using your account. So click log out. And that's it. Thank you. Bye-bye. And have a great day.